Take the road less traveled Yeah, choose my battles Oh, you know that's who I am Oh, I've come unraveled Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to get this closet in order. It was a disaster, as you can see. It, I had way too many clothes in here. I was past due for me to go in here and declutter and donate tons of clothes. I had them all over the shelves because I just didn't have enough hangers for them or enough space. I needed to go through everything. There was so much thrown on the floor, shoes all over the place, trash, all sorts of stuff. The shelves were unorganized. It really just needed a lot of TLC. So I had to go in here. I had been putting it off because it was very overwhelming to me, but I finally just went in and we are going to get it done. And it feels so good now that it's done. It was a really big transformation. So I hope you stay until the end to see exactly what it looks like. This is the moment I spent my days just waiting And anticipating And I knew the time would come All the colors painted While our stars were fading I know I'm not the only First, I am just going to gather all of the clothes that were laying on the floor that I had thrown all over the shelves, and I'm going to put them on my bed and sort through those. I hadn't even started getting the clothes that are on the hangers hanging up. I hadn't even started going through those. This was just what was like laying around wherever. So I got all of this and I threw it on the bed and we're just gonna go through this. I'm throwing some to my left on the bed. That is the donate pile. And you know, I have a maybe pile where like that flower sweater is at the end of my bed. And then I have, of course, my pile that I'm keeping. So I do end up going through things over a few times in this video, you'll see. I highly recommend doing that if you go through and declutter and purge your stuff. I felt like I just had too much still even after I went through it. Sometimes we just like to hold on to those things. So I had to be really strict with myself, but we are getting it done. Into the wild we go Into the wild we go Into the wild we go This is the moment This is the moment Looking up something so right here, I was just going through all of the laundry that I had decided to keep. I thought this was too much. So I go through everything and I end up keeping quite a lot of that pile. And now I'm gonna go to the shelves and I just pulled out all of my pants and my leggings. So I was going through all of that. So I have all of the clothes taken off of the shelves. I had just been cramming everything there instead of hanging it up. There was tons of clothes on the floor. Obviously there's still a lot on the floor, on the shelf that I need to clean up and we'll get to that. But first I wanted to go through the clothes. So I'm gonna go through all of this next. And as far as my husband's clothes, I'll have him go through his t-shirts today. This is, he doesn't have as much as I do of course. But this is the pile that I'm keeping so far. I went through it like twice just to be sure. I might even go through it again. I feel like it's so much. Plus I have to go through my closet that's like with all the stuff that's hanging up. And this is what I'm donating so far. So these are just like pants and leggings. Um, and then of course just a bunch of shirts and stuff. But I still feel like it's like all the other shirts. I feel like that's a lot. We'll go through it and see.
So I'm just going through all of those clothes that I pulled out of the closet that were on hangers. So now everything has been pulled out of the closet as far as my clothes. The stuff on the hangers, I'm doing exactly what I was doing before, just purging what I wanna get rid of and donate, and then what I wanna keep putting over on the pile that you just saw me put something on that tan blazer and that polka dot shirt. And of course, getting distracted as you do when you clean your room by the clothes that you have and everything else. So I just, I thought it looked cute. I've never worn that, but I think it's cute for fall. So a lot of this stuff is fall. I love fall, you know? and my ugly Christmas sweater and you know, all of the things. So we're gonna keep going through this and just sorting through what I want and what I want to get rid of. But there's something cold in the way you are The things you're saying Had me going good but I left a scar You invite me and then you turn me down Get my hopes up and then you're gone I fall for every word that you say to me So hard, being drawn to you so easily I am stuck in a loop of chemicals What's the point? I went through all of my clothes and this is what I have left. Shirts and pants, mostly shirts. And then I was able to fill three bags full. Darren still has to go through his when he gets home. And so I still gotta come in here and just clean the closet. I am kind of disappointed. Like I expected to get rid of more. So like I said earlier, I think I'm gonna go through everything again and really be more strict with myself. Some of the items I just haven't worn in so long, so I'm questioning do I really need to keep it, you know, but I really like some of the things. So I have to go pick up Tyler, then go downtown Orlando to take him for PT. We won't be back till about 5.30. It is like almost two. So I gotta go get him, then we go to PT. And we'll be back probably about 5 30 6 o'clock eat dinner and try to go through some more of this i should have got started this morning but it is what it is all right so it is the next morning i was not able to get back to it yesterday but i'm kind of glad i had a day to like or the night to sleep because <laughs> like how do i have this much to me it just seems like so much and i think today i need to be I'll just a little stricter with what I'm getting rid of.
So I was able to fill up one more bag and I have some that wouldn't fit so I need to get another bag but I went through and purged some more so I'm really happy about that and this is what I have left. And then my pants and leggings and all of that. So much happier with this. So I'm actually going to clean the closet before I put all that back. I need to clean everything off the shelves, clean the shelves, clean the floors, get rid of shoes and go. Also have like a bunch of fake jewelry from Sheen mostly. Um, just from Sheen, like fake, you know, rings and earrings. And I did purchase a jewelry organizer to put it all in. So we are going to also go through all that. I'm so proud of myself with how much I got rid of. I was really overwhelmed even just watching this video with how much, how many pair, pieces of clothing I had. Yeah, like it was crazy. I just accumulated so much. And I feel like I purged not too, too long ago, maybe like a year or two ago, which doesn't seem like too long ago, but anyways, it feels good. I, you know, like you saw, I did have to go through things over and over again. And I'm actually glad I had like, the night to, like I said, to sit on things and to decide what I, I had to be strict with myself and decide what I wanted to get rid of. So that's done and it feels so, so good. And now we are just gonna go in the closet and clean things out. I'm cleaning the shelves with all of the dust on them and going through all of the bags that were on the floor, deciding what I wanted to get rid of, what I wanted to keep, I'm doing some vacuuming and going through all of the shoes. We're gonna be doing all of that. I never left a stone.
So now we have the floor pretty cleaned up. I went through all the shoes like you saw. We decluttered and got rid of some of those. Did some vacuuming, just cleaned it up. It feels, honestly, just having the floor nice and clean feels really good. Now we're gonna go through some of these scarves that I have. You see my Gryffindor scarf. Um, what house are you? I'm so curious if you've ever done the test. I did the, like the first time I ever did it, I was Hufflepuff and I wasn't happy with that for some reason and did it again and I got Slytherin. I was like really wanting Gryffindor like everybody else does, but then I got Slytherin and I was like, hmm, I'm down with that. So I guess I'm kind of a combination, you know, probably a combination of them all, but I guess I lean toward Hufflepuff, Hufflepuff and Slytherin, which I can, I can totally see that. So anyways, went through the scarves and we don't have too many of those because it's Florida. So now we're going to go through the jewelry, which oh, this felt so good to go through. Okay, so I've got all my jewelry in here. This is like perfect. I wish I would have done this sooner. I just have so much and it's all just like the cheap kind you get from Sheen, but it's cute. So I just have like some silver earrings, my black, random ones, Valentine's, you know, seasonal. Love Halloween, it's my favorite. Um, this is like gold skulls. And these are some rings. Yeah, so super cute. And then on the back, that's where I just hung some of the necklaces. So super affordable and easy to use and works really, really well. I love that you can see what you have. gonna clean up some of the jewelry that I'm gonna donate get that out of the way I actually end up donating quite a lot so a lot of like the teacher jewelry that I had acquired over the years that I no longer need and then we are going to just do some more cleaning up in the closet shelves cleaned off and the shoes, every that area cleaned up. I went through those, got rid of a bunch, vacuumed under there, organized my jewelry, hung up my scarves. I just keep like tank tops under here. I use those for like undershirts and stuff, putting all the extra hangers there. Darren's gonna have to go through like his stuff over here, but there are some things like files and stuff I have to go through. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go through like the file stuff like all the boring stuff and um then i'm going to you know just finish vacuuming in here hang up all the shirts and i'm hoping that will be it so i have these totes up here i purchased these years ago when i did an organization uh you know in my closet a deep clean and organized like before i even had youtube and I just keep like cards, photos, things like that. So that's already organized, thankfully. Kind of go through all this stuff down here. All right, so I just went through like all my files. Like I, you know, paperwork I'll like bring and sit up here to put away. I like put it away where it goes. I also keep cards. Does anybody else keep cards? Because I have a serious issue. I need to go through them one day. I am going to go through all of them. One day I'm gonna like go through all of them and just throw away some of them, but some of them I wanna keep. Like, you know, my daughter's 16th birthday card, birthday cards or holiday cards, cards for whatever, um, maybe from people who are no longer here, like Darren's parents. Um, I realize I don't have to keep all of them. So one day I would like to go through and organize them but for now I just keep them in these totes. I ordered these a few years ago just so that I have somewhere to put the cards. Um, you know like I have 
Oh, this is an anniversary card for me and Darren. Anyway, it's just so many things. It's just pictures and I also keep like tickets. This was the, obviously my daughter's graduation. I'm keeping that. Movie tickets. I have movie tickets from like 2004. Um, I think the oldest one I have is Man on Fire with Denzel Washington. Do you guys know that one? Oh, that's amazing if you've never watched it. Anyway, so I keep those as well. So the only thing is I've been thinking eventually, it's like one of those long-term projects in the back of your mind you wanna to get to eventually. One day I wanna like maybe get a clear jar of some kind and put like the movie tickets and all of the tickets to events that we go to and like display it somewhere. Because what's the point of keeping it like in this, in the closet forever? Like what is the point? Um, so I think I actually would like to do something with it, but anyway, so that's what I'm doing now. Just kind of organizing. I also got an empty one out. I'm going to put all the manuals that we have in here that we will probably never, ever open. That's what I'm going to do now. I try to figure out who I am. Not sure what I'm doing here. And the days don't work out the way I thought they would And before you there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in Until I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away all you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're the one who saves me When I try, but don't succeed Yeah, it feels like you're the one who saves me The one who saves me So now that everything is cleaned up and we've decluttered and purged, we are going to now start putting things back where they belong. We're going to start with putting all of the pants and leggings that I have up on this shelf. I do have a dresser and I keep like jeans and those and pajama sets, but I like to keep my leggings uh, here on the shelf. But it's all I have You know we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I Are done with the closet yay went through all the pants 
organized that. That was a hot mess. Cleaned up over here. Vacuumed the floor. It was so bad. Cleaned it up. Looks so much better. Organized the shoes, decluttered them, vacuumed under there. Of course, did the shelves. So these are like, this is just hunting stuff. Every room in my house has <laughs> something for hunting. That's the towels Darren and Tyler will take with them when they go to their hunting camp. Darren's my husband, Tyler's my son. These are the big gloves Darren wears in Canada when he goes in November. This is the blanket they'll take with them. Ironing board, iron, purse, extra bags. That's all the beach bags. Some paintings. I don't know what I'm gonna do with those. We have our luggage. It just looks so much better here. It was so cluttered right there. Extra hangers. I have this bar here. I don't really know what to do with them right now, so we're just gonna leave them there. I just have like undershirts here, some pajamas, belts hanging on this hook. I have my jewelry organizer. I love this. This is just so cool. It's so simple. I got like all of this at Sheen. Look at these cute ghosts. Spider webs. These are my favorite. The skull with the orange flowers. Got my Valentine earrings. And then I have my clothes. First of all, there's no clothes there anymore, so that's nice. And then this is what I am left with, which is much less than what I had. So I just have, you know, my pink and reds. I just put it in color coded order. I have for years, that makes it easier. In the back, I do have just like football shirts. My son's in football, so I have like all of the shirts we'll wear during football season, just so I know where those are. All of the totes up there. This is Darren's stuff. He went through his clothes yesterday. He got rid of a few shirts, but he doesn't have anything crazy. You know, he's pretty simple. This had all, just all sorts of paper on it, so this is all nice and neat and organized now. It feels good just to walk in this space. You know, it's not like Pinterest perfect. It's just real and it works for us. So there we go. I got rid of four bags. I need to put that dress in there. Actually five, that's trash. That's trash. So this is all trash, but this bag and those bags are all donation. So there you go, we are done. It feels so nice to have all of that purged and donated to somebody who needs it. I'm so proud I had so many bags to donate and it just feels nice to go into the closet. It's not overwhelming, it doesn't feel gross, it just it feels good. So I'm really proud of myself. So hopefully this motivates you guys to deep clean your closet or maybe some other difficult task around your house that you need to get done. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. I don't ask for much, no I don't need that much, yeah. Oh.